Hi there, my name is Maya Larson from Maya Larson Studios and welcome to my online class, Hullabaloo Hoops. Hullabaloo is a word that is dated to originate in the 1700s uh, in Scotland and it is a combination of two words, hello and lullaby. So I can totally see somebody coming into a nursery and what's all the hullabaloo about? So in this case though, hullabaloo hoops are fun, fodderful, and ways to use up materials you have in your studio or art space. Here is an example of a fodderful hullabaloo hoop. What I mean by fodderful is that these pieces in here were art from watercolors I had done and I tore them up and made them into something new. So in this case, here I'll flip it over for you, you can kind of see the method to the madness. One thing that's great about hullabaloo hoops is the process. If you want to anchor everything in permanently, you absolutely can. Or if you prefer to just have it as a temporary art that you can take apart and remix and play with as a process focused activity, this is one of those as well. So in here, we've got some burlap, we've got some thunky, chick thunky, thunky, chick. Oh, I'm a little dyslexic folks, in case you didn't know that. Some thick, chunky, yarn. So there we go. And some watercolor and acrylic flowers that I had done on separate pieces of paper. Like I said, it was upcycled. One of the other options we will look at in the hullabaloo class is creating paper flowers from coffee filters and other fun fodderful materials that you might have on hand already. I love classes that ask you to try new things, but I always don't like to buy new things. So one of the fun ways that uh, hullabaloops will help you is to use up things you may already have in your space. In here I've got some beautiful canvas that I had painted in the winter with a dash of spatter to create kind of like a nighttime effect. These are straight up unblemished white coffee filters, whereas these beauties were made using acrylic ink. These ones were made inadvertently because I used them in an art project and then noticed that they were still quite fun and texturific afterwards so that they could be reused for a more dimensional hullabaloo hoop. Now, as you may notice, these are not hoops. You can definitely do this on a hoop like embroidery thread, but like I said, I wanted to use up stuff. So this class is also for folks who may have quite a few canvases hanging around the house that they're just not gonna use, uh, they didn't sell, or they aren't ones they wanna work. You can just rip the canvas right off. And that in itself is kind of cathartic. We will be working through both examples. Uh, you do not have to go out and buy any frames. These are two pieces um, or frames that came from art. I tore the canvas off and got to see that they were kind of different. Uh, we will go through lots of different steps on ways to make this your own. You could always paint out in your own particular palette. You could wrap this in yarn. There's lots of different fun things that we will go through step by step. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy the class. I look forward to seeing your work and 